This is Gigi's channel where we share our expertise. Hello, how are you? It's Gigi from Gigi's channel. Today I'm going to talk about the basic operation in Excel. First thing first, we need to find out whether we have Excel in the system. Go to the start menu and in the search box type in Excel E X C E L. You could see I have an Excel program here and the best thing like you know you can create a shortcut in your desktop. How to create a shortcut in your desktop? Right click and you could see different options and to create a shortcut to desktop send to the desktop and a shortcut is created what is the next way to find out if we have an excel in the system so here on that menu you could see different options shut down log off run go to run and I already type in Excel before and click on OK and Excel is going to open. You could see it's taking time and the Excel is open. See this is a different way of find out if we have an Excel in the system. Let me give you some basic information about Excel. I already discussed about how to create a shortcut in desktop. You know in Excel we have different sheets we can add many more sheets how many ever sheets you want to add it if you want to add new sheets click on to that plus sign you can add more sheets now i have four sheets here in each worksheet we have 256 column which are the column you see on the top a is one column b is another column c is another column likewise we have 256 column can you imagine such a big program is excel and rows how many rows we have on the excel so here you can see these are the rows one two three four likewise how many rows are visible on my excel here you can see at least 17 so Likewise, there are 65,536 rows. So there are 256 column and 65,536 row. Then if you multiply 256 column times 65,536 row, you get the number of cell. What is a cell? here what i click right now it's a cell that rectangular box is a cell look at this this is another cell this is another cell this is another cell so if you calculate in one sheet there is about 16 million seven hundred and seventy seven thousand two hundred and sixteen cells are there in excel so you can calculate in one sheet we have the 16 million and that many number of excel so you can calculate so right now i have four sheets open and you do the math see such a big program is excel so these are some of the basic information about excel so this is the keyboard so before we do some basic operation excel we just need to familiarize with the keyboard what i am going to show you on the next step i am going to show you some basic operations addition subtraction multiplication division these are some of the basic math operations we can do through excel and in the keyboard you can see different signs look at this on the right side where my mouse is you see this is a division sign this is a multiplication sign this is a subtraction sign and this is a addition sign so it is located on the right side of your keyboard you can see the 
different signs here also on the top you can see where my mouse is you can see different signs here too there's a addition sign subtraction sign multiplication sign and division sign and your keyboard if you get a chance you can have a detailed look on your keyboard here I am going to show you how to do the basic Excel math operation this class is meant for the beginners who are new to the Excel so if you want to add something you can see here my explanation addition and I put two numbers 6 plus 3 and what is the answer how to do that see these are the different columns you know that a b c d and i want to get the answer in e column in order to do that what do i need to do i am going to enter an equal sign first i enter an equal sign then which are the numbers i need to do the addition here you can see i want to do the addition in column b and row 2 so i want to add 6 plus 3 so what i'm going to do with the mouse i am going to select that cell where 6 is located that is b2 then what do i need to do i need to add so on the keyboard you go and find the sign on the keyboard as i have shown you before and you click on plus then what is the second number i need to add where that is located it is located on d column and the second row so i just click there that's it and then enter just enter key on the keyboard that is nine see you see that that's very easy and right now you could see and if you change any numbers there in any of this column still is going to show the addition there suppose in place of three i want to enter four let's see what's the result right now it is nine six plus three is nine and if i want to enter a new number four let's see what's the result it became 10 that's a good thing about excel see and if you change the number here to 7 just change it 7 and you could see the result what's the number new number it is 11 see this is what the addition and if you want to do the subtraction so right now what do we need to do go to the e column and put and equal sign there equal so you want to do the subtraction so which column and row that is b column and it is on the third row just select that column with the mouse six and what operation you want to do you want to do the subtraction operation just put the subtraction sign from the keyboard minus and which number you want to be subtracted from from three and with the mouse you are going to select that three and then after that you just enter on the keyboard just enter key so six minus three is three and if you are going to change the value anywhere the value is going to be changed if you just change it to four look at the new number four minus three is one that's a good thing about Excel and the next operation you want to do multiplication by this time maybe most of you must be knowing what is the next thing you are going to do just go to E column fourth row just put an equal sign there and then which are the numbers you want to operate and do the operation on B4 select with the mouse you select that column six that is b4 and then what operation you want to do you want to do the multiplication operation select multiplication sign from the keyboard 
and what is the next column you want to select you want to select d4 just select d4 then just enter see 6 times 3 is 18 and if you want to change the number you can change it to 7 and you can see the new number is 21 and the last operation is for division select the E column E5 and put the equal sign there and now we know we have to select B5 so now we know B is a column and 5 is a row and what operation you want to do you want to do the division so put the division sign there and which column you want to select the next one you want to select D5 and what do you need to do after that you just enter just enter key in the keyboard so 6 divided by 3 is 2 and if you want to change the number change it and try let's do 9 divided by 3 3 <laughs> this is a good thing about Excel see now um, try to practice it and you will be getting it very easily the next one I want to do a small um, account statement for a company named ABC tutor company in this company we have different tutors we have these are the tutors Thomas George Elizabeth Kathy Rosario, Patricia, Andrew, Lisa and uh, this company the tutors are working in a month this is a monthly statement so Thomas work 50 hours in the last month and Thomas hourly pay is $12 so we want to know how much Thomas made in the last month so which is operation you want to do you want to do the multiplication operation so how to do that so again you put equal sign there and then select b3 that's the number of hours Thomas work and you want to put the multiplication sign in the keyboard and what is hourly pay for the Thomas $12 per hour and just Enter key. How much Thomas made in the last month? He made $600 in the last month. Okay, likewise, George, how much George made? George worked for 54 hours and his hourly pay is $13. So, again, what the how we are going to get it? How much? Is a total pay you put the equal sign first and then the number of hours 54 that is B4 and then times you put the multiplication sign and hourly pays $13 and then just enter key so that is how much George made see now like you know by entering each column uh, it's not that easy like you know because you know we want the tool to do the smart work for us we don't want to do the same thing again and again so what do I need to do in order to do multiplication for all column what do I need to do I just need to drag that's a simple thing what I need to do see you know if you put your mouse on that cell that is a D4 you could see the operation what is the formula bar what do you could see in the formula bar B4 times C C4 so in order to avoid the calculation for each and every step like you know it's a task because you know 60 times 12.5 50 times 13.5 like in likewise to the raw number 10 it's a task so what do I just need to do I just need to go there and hold the mouse on the edge of that cell you can see the plus sign 
So I just need to drag it from the top to the bottom. Let's see. Let's see what's going to be the result. You see this? Oh, <laughs> so easy, right? Look at that. So Thomas worked for 60 hours and his hourly pay is 12.5 and he made $750. So likewise, that is the easiest way to get or to calculate the monthly pay for all the tutors. So how much is the total pay that made? So let's see it. So what do you need to do? First select that cell that is D11 and then put the equal sign. Then you are looking for sum. You see that? Sum and then you select all the column and then just enter key. So what is the total expense for the ABC Tutor Company? 5,390. So if you want to use a calculator, look at that, how much time is going to take it. And if you want to change any value, suppose like, you know, Kathy, or she make like, you know, she worked for 60 hours. So you could see the total pay is going to change 810. See, when you change the 810, automatically the total also change it. So I want to show you one more example. Patricia, she worked for 40 hours. Right now she makes $467.50 and the total expense for the company is $5,525. Let's see what the difference is going to make. See that column is changed. 40 hours times 13.75. She made $550. The total expense for the company is $5,607.50. So Excel is a very good tool that can save a lot of time and it's going to make the operations much efficient. Hope this lesson helped you try to practice at least one or two times and the next time you are going to be an expert in Excel. So these are the basic operation Excel for beginners. Thank you so much for watching.